J to the B and I am getting ready to leave this junky hovel. <laughs> uh, this was totally not planned. A friend of mine was supposed to come over today and what am I looking for right now? I don't remember. She was supposed to come over today and, uh, and help, help me. Actually, yesterday she asked me if I wanted to go grab lunch or something because she had to come to my neck of the woods today. And I said, no, I got way too much to do. I, I, I just can't do it. Um, and she's like, well, how about I come over and help you or just come over and talk to you? And I said, just come over and talk to me. <laughs> like, you know, that makes things um, get done quicker. Like, it just takes my mind off of what I'm doing. Plus, it can be difficult to... Uh, for someone else to figure out what to do with my stuff when I haven't figured it out yet, you know So it's like I don't want to waste. I don't wanna waste your time. I don't want to waste my time um, Just come over and talk to me while I get it done. I Hope I'm making not making y'all sick by going in circles, but this is this is uh, <laughs> this is this is how my brain is right now Yes, I just took my medication like three minutes ago. Okay, so uh, today I woke up and I was just hanging out in my bed for a minute, just like, okay, I should text her and find out what time she's coming over here. And she texted me first and she said, uh, are you sure you don't want to get out? <laughs> and I was like, you know, I think I need to, because last night I went to Bar Marshall's for an additional hard sided su oops, suitcase and I didn't want to come home. I was like, I don't want to go back there. I was looking at shirts. I had picked up two shirts. And then I thought about it. Oh, 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 oh. Shoot, drop my glasses. Oh. Okay, they're all right. I was on the phone with my mother while I was shopping in Marshalls. And I usually don't do that because I think it's kind of rude. Uh, and it's very annoying um, to, when people are out in public, in a public space, and they're just talking loudly on their phone. Um, but I did. So... I didn't want to come home. I started shopping for other things, knowing that I'm getting rid of stuff because I can only take so much. And before I got to the checkout, I was like, let me put this mess back. Let me get what I came for and get up out of here. And then I just kind of drove around. <laughs> like, I really didn't want to come back here. I'm sitting on this, on my exercise ball. Here, let me turn, turn, let me find my light. There we go, we have light. So. I'm like, yeah, let's go get something to eat. I need to eat something. I have the rest of the day to pack up stuff. I have to finish filling out my passport application. That was a fact that I forgot until I got into bed last night and went, oh no, my appointment is on Friday morning and I haven't finished filling out the application yet. So I gotta do that when I come back here. But for a little bit, I'm gonna slow down I'm going to be still. I'm going to listen to what my friend has going on. And I'm going to come back here and be deliberate about what I get done today. Okay. Today is Thursday. I think that means it's January 25th. I don't know. I do know today is Thursday. If I'm wrong on the date, I'm sorry. Stuff has been going on, like I, I get news from people who aren't even here about things that are going on here. Like, uh, did you hear about the flooding in San Diego? I'm like, no, I didn't hear anything. Like, I, I, I've heard nothing. I've heard, I heard, I've found out that Dexter King, Reverend Dr. Mar Reverend Dr. Martin Luther King Jr.'s son uh, passed away. I think it's been three days ago now. My, because my aunt sent me a news story. But outside of that, I have no idea. I, I, I. I don't know. I don't know. You know what I know? I know this stuff. It needs to get up out of here. It will. I'm going to tell you, this is going to be a very, very different place. By the end of the day, January 31st. Okay? Okay. I got to be making progress. I have to be. Because things, so many things are leaving here. I'm throwing away trash bags daily. Like daily, um, I got some big boxes that I need to take to the trash. Like I'm selling things on Poshmark. Like 
Why does one person need so much stuff? I don't know. Like I'm, I'm, I'm drawn to minimalism. I respect people who can be minimalist, not in the way that all their furniture is beige, unless they, you know, they like beige. They really like beige. But uh, I never want to be that person where everything is just the same color and you have to have this certain such and such, whatever. No, but people who have only things that they really need or they really, really love. I'm drawn to that, but it seems to be uh, a practice that's cultivated rather than, okay, I'm gonna be a minimalist today. I'm gonna get rid of all my stuff and I'm just gonna rough it. That scares me. That's, I don't wanna rough it. I don't wanna rough it. I don't, I don't camp. I don't like that kind of stuff. <laughs> I got some friends who either like camping or talk about camping every now and then. Count me out. Count me out. I don't want no part of that. I want to, I don't want to glamp. I don't want to do nothing to get amp in it. None of that. So, yeah, I, I guess it's a practice that's cultivated over time until you just distill it down, distill it down, distill it down to the essence of what you really need and what you really love. I have one big suitcase. Hold on, let me show you. It ain't my suitcase. It's my aunt's suitcase. Here. Uh... Okay, don't look at my underwear. I got an underwear story to tell you. Look, I am, oh no, I'm dropping my drawers on the floor. <laughs> okay, I got, I got an underwear story to tell y'all. So I'm tall, right? Uh, I am, I got on shoes. So right now I'm six feet tall. Okay, this comes up, where's my, where's my hip bone? That's my, what is that? <laughs> That's my hip bone. This suitcase comes almost up to my hip bone, okay? It's tall. It's 33 inches tall. This is the, the, the biggest suitcase I've ever maneuvered in my life. And uh, it is full of clothing. And I think I'm going to take some things out. Because I'm like, am I really going to wear all this? If it's, if it's something that's going to make me hotter than I already am in Playa del Car Carmen when it's humid, I don't need it because I ain't going to wear it. I'm going to be like, mm -mm, this is cute, but it's hot. I'm not wearing, <laughs> I'm not wearing that. So I'm good as far as clothing is concerned. I need to put some shoes in another suitcase. I'm probably going to take five suitcases. And this is from, this is me who travels. I travel so lightly all over the place with my two little, two little suitcases. I can be gone for two, three weeks. I was gone one time for a, a month with two carry-ons and a backpack and it's been great, but this is, you know, I'm going to live. So I need, need places to put my electronics. Like I, I'm, I'm flying with a drone. I'm bringing my ring light because I cannot find one that is, I bought it several years ago and they don't make them like this anymore. So I'm like, I'm bringing my ring light. What else? I got all kind of stuff, all kind of stuff that, that I don't want to have to buy again because electronics tend to be more expen expensive, especially if you want something good, quality made, a brand you recognize. This stuff is is imported, so it costs more. And I'm like, I got it right here. Why would I pay? So I just paid to, to get you know suitcase so I can take it down there. And look, if I spend okay, I'm flying Southwest. Southwest allows me two check bags with the cost of my ticket, and then. Uh, a carry-on and a personal item, which we all know means two carry-ons. <laughs> so, uh, two carry-ons. But I am bringing one, two, two additional bags. And I'm like, you know what? If I spend a total of five hundred dollars on the cost of the new suitcases and the cost to check them, fine. I mean, then that just means that I've done uh, a. Uh, moved out of the country for $500. That ain't too bad, you know, because moving across country will cost you more than $500, mostly because you're trying to bring all your stuff with you. But here, I know I can't do it. So we're at the throw all this mess away <laughs> stage, <laughs> stage of the program. I really am waiting for these, these charities to come and pick things up. I'm just looking around at that stuff. I'm waiting for my friends to come and pick things up. Um, my friend's son, who's buying my car, <laughs> I told her this morning, 
Uh, I've been driving his car very carefully because <laughs> cause I don't want nothing to happen to it. I know he don't want nothing to happen to it either. Uh, yeah. Yeah. This is it, y'all. This is it. <laughs> There are some things of sentimental value that I'm, I'm going to bring with me here. I want to show you one of them. <clears throat> That's me. <laughs> I believe I was in third grade there. This is my mug. Get it? Get it? I'm taking this with me. I've had it forever and I want it. <laughs> I want it with me. Uh, where's, where's Bob Duck? Hold on, where's Bud Duck? This is Bud Duck. Now, Bud Bud Duck has been through some some rough times. Uh, you know what? We're gonna talk about Bud Duck later. Okay. All right. My friend is here, and I gotta go out. All right. Bye. All right. I'm in the car. Um, she had to run an errand, so I'm um, I'm styling. Hold on. I'm trying to see if I can I can flex a little bit, even though it just ain't my car. Hey, hey, we rolling, we rolling. <laughs> You can tell people who've been driving a, a, a Nissan Cube for 300 years, can't you? Anyway, we were just talking about crime. <laughs> crime in, in the U.S. and how, like, um, as women and as black people, we... <clears throat> I, I don't know if you're familiar with something called epigenetics. I know you're familiar with genetics, you know what that is. Epigenetics basically is the study of things that get passed down in your DNA, usually because of trauma. There have been a lot of studies done uh, on, on black families in particular about how we carry things that were, you know, that are vestiges of slavery, you know? Slavery, Jim Crow, other kinds of mistreatments, and how it's horrible. Like some of these chronic diseases that we get. I mean, if you're chronically stressed, well, what do you think you're gonna get? Okay, here she comes. She comes back. All right, talk to you in a minute. The toilet was ridiculously low to the floor, so I took a picture. <laughs> 